Hello all, this is Mark Wilbur at Tushula.com and this is Phonics Friday number 10 where we have a lot of fun teaching our students phonics for English as a second language so that their pronunciation improves, their spelling improves, and they have an easier time telling the difference between sounds. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, Right, so last time I taught Y sounds. Uh, A-Y at the end of a word would be long A sound, as in way or day, and E-Y at the end of a word would be a long E sound, like monkey. Sorry, this is just uh, one of those evenings I have uh, a zillion things to do. I've got like uh, two websites I'm working on, and uh, um, <laughs> I have no idea why I'm cracking up. Uh, maybe... It's just amusement at myself for getting to Phonics Friday number 10. Anyway, this time will be more Y sounds and more words with Y. Uh, if you've got a Y at the beginning of a word, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I talked about Y's, or I should say vowel plus Y at the end of a word last time. And this time I'll talk about Y at the end of a word and Y in the middle of a word. Uh, it's a lot of ways, Y is kind of the most inscrutable letter. It could be a consonant, it could be a vowel, if it's in the end of a word, it might be a long I sound, like uh, fry, or it might be a long E sound, like funny. Let's start at the beginning, or at the front of a word. If you have a Y at the front, well, let me give you some examples. Yellow, yoke, y'all, Yale, yo-yo. All of these are the stereotypical or the famous Y pronunciation. A lot of people say ya. Yeah. I, I don't say ya yeah, because this isn't ya yeah, oak. Yoke. It's, it's really just a y, y with no uh in it. Um, but it's, it's a hard sound to make. But we, it's pretty clear what that is and people are generally pretty familiar with this one. In the middle of a word, it's a little bit more complicated. So, uh, well, I'll, I'll just give you a bunch of examples again. Hymnal, uh, lie, rhyme, style, uh, myth, wyvern, and there are a whole bunch of words that could be spelled with a Y, like the old spelling of time or something like that. The trick here is you pretend that it's an I. So if this were an I, it would be a short I. Him, hymnal. If this were an I, you'd have two vowels together. When two vowels, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, so it's a long I, lie. Here you've got vowel, consonant, vowel, long I, I, and then RH is a pretty common um, phonics pattern as well. RH is just pronounced like an R, so this would be rhyme. Um, same thing, style, and that's that's actually a word, it's a very old word for those, uh, those things to get over fences. Um, myth, still be a, a short I. Wyvern, actually that's a bad example. These don't usually get doubled, but I'm just going to take that out. As I've said before, there are, uh, there are all kinds of exceptions in English spelling, which is natural, especially if you take like weird words like wyvern. But the phonics patterns I teach will, will give you a good grounding, good idea. And this, this will work. Uh, this particular one I think is good at least 90% of the time. If you see a Y in the middle of a word, pretend it's an I. At the end of a word, uh, plus, let's see, let's see, vowel plus Y at the end of a word. This one's pretty easy. Just watch Phonics Friday number nine. Then the last case, which I think is the trickiest, is just why. 
at the end of a word. Give you a bunch of examples. Let's see if you can come up with a pattern. Pry, fly, happy, fully, funny, jolly, angry, pry, sty, ply, mystery, any, any ideas here? It's a little bit misleading. So many of these are adjectives. You might think, well, an adjective, it's got to be a long E sound. And that's true, actually. An adjective will be a long E sound. Um, but mystery isn't an adjective. That's a noun. And it's got a Y at the end. That's a long E sound. What you have to look for is, is there a vowel in the word other than the Y? If all you've got is the Y, then it's a long I sound. And this, this isn't because it's three letters long. It could be by, that's two letters long, or my, or spry is four letters long. But this Y is the only vowel, so it's a long I sound. Here, you have another vowel. So the Y at the end is a long E sound. So if there's no other vowel, no other vowel, long, actually, you know, that's, that's not the clearest way to write it. Uh, just a Y, just a Y at the end of the word. If no other vowel, long I sound. If there's another vowel, then it's a long E sound. Okay, that's it. I had better drink my highly caffeinated green tea and get to work on all my, all my stuff. Hope you picked up something. Uh, y is, is a very noble letter and often used, very versatile, and very useful, even if it's frustrating for uh, students trying to learn English. So use it well.